From the studios at WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. In Rockcastle County, a New Year's Eve fire has left a family of four homeless and claimed the lives of their two pets. The fire broke out at a home on Sunnydale Estates in Broadhead. A resident of the home was at neighbor's Darren Quimley's home when the fire was discovered. I saw that it was on fire. The people living there ran back up, said everybody come down here and help. I couldn't believe it, and I just thought about how easily that could have been me. That's neighbor Darren Quimley. The fire crews made entry into the structure and found the two animals but were unable to revive them. Lexington police are trying to solve a mystery that involved two men with gunshot wounds. Authorities said at about 3 a.m. New Year's morning, two men arrived at Good Samaritan Hospital and said they were shot near Castlewood Park. The men, ages 18 and 19, said they did not know who shot them, but were not cooperating with police. Beginning today, Estro County drivers who use Kentucky 3325 Possum Run Road will have to use an alternate route for about two weeks. The road will be closed just east of Substation Road and west of Blackburn Road. New Year's Day, a female driver identified as Tiffany Watkins led police on a high-speed chase from Mount Sterling to Lexington. It started when Mount Sterling police were called to investigate possible drug activity at Walmart parking lot when Watkins allegedly drove off toward I-64 at a high rate of speed. She was stopped inside Lexington city limits and now faces multiple charges, including fleeing and evading, wanton endangerment, resisting arrest, and various traffic offenses. For more stories like these, tune to WBONTV.com. I'm Ron Likens.